went to Kickstarter and yeah. they needed like two million dollars and they got like four million That's in like I a fucking hour. Good shit happens. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. They yeah, put their PlayStation. Maybe they give me like six hundred dollars for three like making a, you know, like, um, like right now. Yeah, right. That actually looks kind of cool. Are they? Yeah. Oh, they. It was from yeah. Kickstarter. It was, it was gonna be called Summer Camp, but then it had like you I kind of like that name, Summer Camp. Computer. But yeah, you know, Computer. like Repeater. Matt Damon. Mm. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Fuck Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Sorry, Damon. I don't like him. So. I pretty much Me wanted team. to say Team America Fuck you <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry so, again, I'm so glad you did like that Like I was saying I wanted to say something about Something that came up with me Because I bought The Batman Season Pass And I feel cheated I you never should. buy Season Pass anymore cheated. Why would you buy it in the first cheated. place? Because I like Batman And I liked the game the I game bought it awful. after the game And then I got a discount on it And I still feel cheated <laughs> That sucks. I never got because it. it, it no, I'm glad. But like, I hated it. I think game. it's going to be okay you, afterwards because like I the hate last month, passes month, anymore. Mm-hmm. the last month of like content actually looks kind of cool. And it's like, well, why did you like? They finally released like a a breakdown of what all DLC you get. Because if I knew that, I would have just got that last piece of content, and then like maybe one other thing, and I would have been cool. But I still got the game. I mean, not the game. The uh, season pass for cheap because it's on sale on Xbox or something. But I just wanted to say, is is DLC always good or always bad? Or maybe sometime in the middle. Because, I think you know, it's, it's, it's in the it's, middle. It's a case-by-case basis. I Pretty think. much. I... Fallout... It's going to have a season pass. I'm buying it. I'm buying because that because we know what we to know, expect. Right. We know Bethesda. Well, for, for larger RPGs, it, make, it makes more sense to you. For multiplayer, it's the most, it's the stupidest exactly. thing in the world. I like yeah. to buy story content, not, it's I don't really buy. I'm going to buy Uncharted. I don't really buy multiplayer. Yeah, like, My I don't really peeve, buy multiplayer saying, DLC. Okay, saying when you still, because the. At least I was still buying physical copies before the whole digital thing came to go to mm-hmm. GameStop. You go there and you, you pre-order the game. Would you like to pre-order the season pass? You're telling me I can pre-order the season pass while I'm buying the game right now. That always made me mad. So I'm buying 150% of the game right now. But that was the whole thing, like, with, um, Should be free. With Hell Batman. Yeah. That was a big... That was a big deal when it first it's came mine. out. It's <laughs> mine. Oh. That was a big deal when it first came out, just because it was, like, almost the same price as the entire yeah. game. Yeah. Or you're, like, Collier Call was the biggest one. Buy $6 dollars of the oh, Call yeah, of Duty, oh, and now the season pass is $40. I don't 50. even consider Call of Duty. 50? Just, They're 50 now. <laughs> It's because it's Call of Duty. You were gonna buy it regardless. Yeah, because people are, don't. It's a, it's a cash, and they knew they could do it. But they knew they could get away with it. That's, that's so the sad thing. It's that's sad. why I don't even consider Call of Duty. I never buy any deals. It's sad. That's why they have these like these things all over Reddit, like PTAs. Stop pre-ordering games. You're the problem. <laughs> I'm not even gonna buy Call of Duty. I'm not. No, I haven't bought Call of Duty. Because then I, that's the thing. I, I was I so pissed with Advanced Warfare. Mode, like, I have no I like the desire story to go back. Warfare. That was. I didn't ever beat it. But like. It was okay. I bought this freaking season pass because I was kind of excited. I wanted to throw money to, you know, um, Rocksteady because they did a good job with Arkham Knight. Yeah. And uh, had a shout out to Arkham Knight. It's behind me. See, so you're terrible at this pointing thing. No, I, I, I'm pointing right at Arkham. No, it looked like you're pointing towards... I'm pointing at Arkham. See? Yeah, I know now you are. But I've been pointing at Arkham. Well, I can go back to the I'm video. I'm pointing at Roman. I'm pointing at Roman. But anyways, me a team yeah, and you know, I bought this DLC know. pack, and then all of a sudden it was just like skins and races, and I'm like, I don't really care about racing my Batmobile. I just wanted more story <clears throat> yeah. because the game was good. And then it's like, oh okay, we release, what was it? Bat Batgirl. Yeah, Batgirl. Batgirl. That was an hour. I'm like, eh, okay, that was something. And then the Nightwing DLC came out. I'm excited for it. Fifteen minutes, or twenty minutes. Yeah. And that the, was just because I died like a couple times. The ratio to buying the game, which on average most games were probably about ten hours yeah. for the story time, and they're sixty dollars. Now there's Catwoman. Now you I'm purchase scared. thirty dollars the game and lasts for an 15, hour and a half. Twenty minutes. Yeah. Because I like Catwoman. I wanted. I like just, like in back in uh, Arkham City. You oh know? my god. Like that. That was cool. Where it was like that was splitting. really cool. And then um. Now I'm like, okay, well, she's got she's got an episode, but that's probably going to be 15 minutes, like all the rest of the episodes have been. Unless, you know, they're going to actually make this one an hour or two, like Batgirl. And I actually 
would care about the Catwoman story other than Batgirl because I don't, I don't watch or read comics to really know who Batgirl is that much. I know that's Barbara. Yeah. Barbara. I know she's I a know. girl. Who's a bat? And she's a girl. Nailed it. And, you know, she loses her legs eventually and can't beat Batgirl. Yeah. But Oracle. I don't care. <laughs> I didn't want. I don't care about. She Bat can Girl. be Professor Batgirl, but she mm. had a cool, you know, like you know, outfit, and then you could not use her at all. Like you couldn't even use her in like the uh, AR missions. So like you I, got the like you on like they worked on this character, and then you only play her for like the hour campaign that they have, and that's a. It's like can't go back and do a... like you know the AR challenges or anything. I, it's it's like what they did with um Saints Row Four with cars. I feel so bad for the guy who, like, worked on the cars in that game because they oh, were so, yeah. like, they did a much better job with car customization like, oh, you don't even need a car. in 4, and you can fly. That, and then, you know, the whole, what was it? Was it still Saints Row 4? And then you had, like, gun, like, you know, you had, there was, it was cool guns, and then just flame I, li I like Saints Row 3 for yeah. being over the top, but they went way too far with Saints Row 4. You didn't really care about any of the conventional weapons. That's or the vehicles. point of Saints right. Row, though. But it was. Hey, did you ever play Saints Row 4? It's ridiculous. It's, it's fun, though. Like, it's it's it. really fun. Yeah, but but it, that's what you think of. Saints, Saints Row is the comedic version it's of almost, GTA. It's, it's almost it boring fun. how easy it is to play, it though, is and how easy. ridiculous it is. Like, like they made the game easy. Up, yeah, once you leveled up, you were just unstoppable. I don't think there's difficulty levels in that game, is there? I don't, I don't think so when I started it up because I got the uh, that HD remake. Well, not remake, but remaster. Oh yeah, I forgot. I never forgot about that. Four when it first came out, because other games came out and I said, eh. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was no. Yeah, I don't even remember what came out around there. But uh, also, Battlefront has a season pass, and that's another fifty dollars. Everything's got a season pass. That's fifty dollars. Is that it fifty? Yeah, that one's I think fifty, and I would uh, actually get that one just because it's like Battlefield. Sure. And think of it as it's, Battlefield. It's premium. It's premium. Battlefront premium. Okay, I'm getting. That's that's how I think of it. Because that's I, how it described it in the uh, the notes. I got premium with three and four. Because it had it's gonna have four map like packs, and you know with dice they have multiple maps within those packs. Normally. Yeah. And then um. Just different variants and stuff. So I would get that. I mean, then they would have like if little it's, bonuses and stuff. If it's and any it's Star Wars, yeah, like if it's anything like premium from Battlefield Four, then I'm gonna, 4, then I'm gonna get it. They gave you so much stuff with premium in Battlefield Four. It was amazing. I am gonna wait. Though. I'm gonna see. See what it is. See it. Like, see if it actually yeah. does anything like Battlefield. Yeah. Because I always, every time I got a Battlefield game, I got premium just because it was worth it. Oh yeah. Especially like for the amount of time I did play that game. You yeah, know, I don't play it anymore. But I wanna, when I did, it was cool to like have all this extra stuff. I want to go back and like play bonuses. Battlefield Four now. Battlefield Hardline. That story was awesome. I never I, even the, started the story the in Hardline. Cool. I didn't either. The, the multiplayer was so cool in Battlefield Hardline. I picked it up for like twenty eight bucks and like, I, awesome. I barely played it's it. On, I was uh, playing something <laughs> else at the time. It was, I mean, it's Battlefield. Roman. It's cool. It's on EA Access. It's in the vault, so if you get the subscription for that, it's free. I have EA Access. It's actually <laughs> worth it. Is check, it? Like, when you go home, check EA Access and check the vault. There's a lot of games that, you, that, that are free. And huh. it's five bucks a Isn't month. Inquisition in the vault now? Yep. Play Inquisition. Yeah. See, that game's worth more than five, like, five bucks. I'm it. probably going to do it, too. It's only on Xbox. I've got an Xbox. Oh, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's the whole thing. Like, and now I don't think I'm made to do that with like um, EA games that much and get like the premium because then the game's gonna be on EA Access and I feel everything's gonna be free. Do you think eventually that well, instead of having actual games, you just pay a monthly price like Xbox um, Live, but it'll be more. That's what EA is doing. Out? So I mean, well, it's I, a I, thing. I kind of yeah. want is games to be more platforms like hitman gonna be like you know like how they're gonna have the structure of that right so it was actually supposed to come out in december but they're delaying it because people bitched about how the structure is because it's gonna release with a lot of content one a good handful of content I had to dial it back a little bit <laughs> but, like that's the whole thing like the the worlds that are available are gonna be huge and the fact is it's it's going to be having, you know, having regular contracts and stuff like that. But then it has from Hitman Absolution, if you guys played that. 
that yeah. mode where you can make your own contract and then fit, like you know take each other, take each other people's <clears throat> contracts and stuff and get points and you know stuff like that. So it kind of builds and these worlds are huge that you're like going in. So you can pretty much play the game for a long time. I mean, hmm. That's what I did with Hitman Absolution until you know about like a couple months after. It came I think out. that's most of the time. That's what they should do. They should just be map packs for season but, passes. Oh yeah, to finish my that's thought with Hitman. And then over the course of like I feel I think like <clears throat> five or six months, maybe, it maybe more, but they're going to be releasing new places, so it's just going to keep growing. Which is pretty cool, because then, like, you know, once you buy the game, it's free, actually. And it just keeps, get, like, it just keeps adding content. Now, that's cool. Like, yeah, that's, I'll that, be, that would that, be cool. That I'm willing to do. Or, you know, especially what they need to do that is with sports games. <laughs> just take a year off, build the perfect sports game, Mm-mm. and then, you know what? <laughs> just update yeah. it every year. I'll never Don't, take a year off. Do, yeah, they would. <laughs> They're literally <laughs> going to say goodbye do <laughs> yeah, so they would much. Never do that, because, you know, that... That's a lot of money. For I them. I can't go that long without it. But no, I'm just saying, like, if they updated it. No. Nope. No. Just deal with. Just deal with. It has to 16. say 2016. Nope. No. And just deal with Madden 16. I, there's a lot of flaws. I don't want to deal with. A lot with of flaws it. in every Madden game. <laughs> yeah. It never uh, it never gets fully fixed. But EA, just think about it. They had an extra year. Crap. Extra year just to like fix and narrow down and do different things and actually add see, new features. You say that, but there's game there's developers that take years to do other games and there's still flaws. Yeah, but like I feel like the EA sports games would actually benefit from that. Uh, like, you know, at least game wise. I mean they did that with actually I think they did that with NHL for like the one time before mm-hmm. it got like really good. They just stopped a year. Mm. And I thought I remember them stopping a year. No. In NHL. No. Have never stopped so. a year. I think so. They're no. they're I have to Google. No. They're more present than Call of Duty. Oh yeah, now they are. Yeah, no. They they never. They stopped. had to have stopped. Remember uh, NHL hits? It was like it was Blitz, but it was NHL. Yeah. Oh, oh my that god, was that, fun. Fun. that was fun. That was fun. That was fun. Why can't sport <laughs> I miss Blitz. Oh, I'm thinking of when they went to new gen. They didn't do like the first year. They didn't do it in next gen, and then they came out with that half baked one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which that defeats my argument. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean that's that's the whole thing. And then also on top of DLC, microtransactions. Good God, here we go now. This kind of goes towards Roman's topic, but I'm not going to go into Roman's topic yet with it. I'm just going to talk about microtransactions a little bit. Just because I feel like that's a dirty word. It's neither good nor bad, just like DLC. It's on a case-by-case basis. If it's a free-to-play game, yeah, it's probably going to be bad. Microtransactions are probably going to be bad, just spoiler with that. But Metal Gear has microtransactions. It does. It does. And a lot of people we're upset with that you don't have to use it it's based off of like the FOB systems and even when you do like the combat uh, deployment stuff if you do the online board portion of it instead of waiting three days just give them a couple dollars and it's right there they're not forcing you to do that because there's a regular one that you get the same amount of stuff they never the microtransactions are never really rarely ever forced upon but people you people feel that way but because if you don't, there's people who do buy them and then they get ahead of you in the game. And Pay to win. And, and then thing. you like, feel like you have to because... Pay to win. Yeah. Yeah, there are games like that. And I mean... A lot of them are... And there's a lot of them like that. But uh, that's that's the whole thing, though. Like, I, I feel like people just miscue microtransactions thinking, you know, it's... Yeah, developers are trying, well, trying to make money, but you don't have to use it. It's no. an option. It's an option that's kind of forced upon you later in the game. If you feel like you are struggling. Well, you know, I don't really, like, with the FOB stuff, I felt like that was never an issue. Because you can, like, speed up progress when you're building, like, your FOB base on Metal Gear. I never spent money to speed up on my FOB on my Xbox version. And I did just fine. Yeah, it took me longer to, you know, have more equipment, but that didn't matter. Like, yeah. I still, my base always, you know, defended successfully against people. Isn't Halo 5 posted microtransactions? 
Uh, I think so. I think they're they really minimum, some. like really like dollar amounts. Nothing more than ten bucks, I think. But I think they did have some. Yeah, I mean, I I like it. I mean, at least in Metal Gear, I like it because it's like, oh, you know, I don't feel like waiting three days. Like, yeah, you know what? I want those, you know, troops now. Fine, I'll give them like two bucks. 